Murtaugh, the blacksmith that young Ian approached to fix a horse bit, seemed least interested and said he would do it only if he was paid a whopping amount of 21 shillings. Stars' hit drama Outlander, adapted from Diana Gabaldon's book series of the same name has a life of its own now, especially after the character Murtaugh Fitzgibbons played by, Duncan LeCraw, was seen alive, well and rebelling in season 4 of the time-traveling drama. Now, fans fraught with Droughtlander, are ruminating about Murtaugh's ultimate fate after season 4's cliffhanger, and sadly, we cannot even turn to the books for answers. Season 4 ended with Murtaugh's life in jeopardy along with Jamie Fraser's, Sam Hewen. Soon after Brianna Fraser and Roger McKenzie reunited in River Run, a team of horses come with redcoats, with a special message for Jamie Fraser from Governor William Tryon. The governor has entrusted the Scottish Highlander to kill the criminal Murtaugh Fitzgibbons for leading the rebellious group regulators to fight against the redcoats. The regulators are an underground group of Scottish people who despise the British for what they consider unjust taxation. Murtaugh happens to be the leader of the group and a wanted criminal. However, in the books, the regulators are mentioned in passing and Murtaugh, who is also Jamie's godfather, dies in 1745 at the Battle of Culloden between the Scots and the British. The character, resurrected in the series, gets a bigger storyline as he gets into an unexpected relationship with Aunt Jocasta. The powerful Aunt Jocasta and a powerful godson may be able to protect Murtaugh and the upcoming season may heavily focus on the conflict. However, ever since we re-met Murtaugh in season 4, the fan-favorite character has a lurking hypocrisy. Murtaugh gave a stirring speech against the British when he took Jamie to see the underground revolutionary meeting, staunchly accusing the British of robbing them of their hard-earned income. However, hypocrisy was noted when young Ian met Murtaugh for the first time in Wilmington not knowing he is related to him. Jamie asked young Ian to get a horse bit fixed because they had to return to Fraser's Ridge the same evening after an unsuccessful run to find settlers in Fraser's Ridge. Murtaugh who was the blacksmith that young Ian approached for the work, seemed least interested in fixing the horse pit and said he would do the deed only if he was paid a whopping amount of 21 shillings. That was all the money young Ian had and he did not want to disappoint his uncle, Jamie, so he paid the entire amount. When young Ian told Jamie that all the shillings were gone to get the shoe fixed, enraged Jamie went to charge the blacksmith who had basically robbed the young boy. Ironic. As it turned out, it happened for the best since that is when the Fraser's reunion took place. They flung open hugs and Murtaugh eventually returned the shillings to young Ian at the bar when they needed money for a beer refill. However, because it was Murtaugh Fitzgibbons, the fan favor character, we chose to overlook that he had basically committed the same foul deed he accuses the British of, robbing them by means of taxes, charging them much more than required.